Hey guys, welcome back. So in this module, we are going to look at how you can monitor your collections in Postman. Right? So monitoring is an important concept when it comes to any application. So you can manually monitor your application, whether um, it's failing or it is running fine in your servers, or you can take uh, help of some tools right, to monitor your activity in your applications. Similarly, in Postman, you can monitor your API activity, right? So whether your tests are running fine across your API or your API requests are running fine, right? Uh, inside a collection. So you can continuously monitor uh, with the help of Postman and uh, Postman will also send you several notifications if any of your tests fail in any of your API requests, right? So that's uh, how what we are going to look at so how you can monitor collections now we have two collections here right um let's create a monitor for github and let's do one thing we will uh, kind of fail one of the tests which are there which are present here right so so that uh, we get a notification on our email so let's do that let's fail some Okay. Okay. So I'm going to fail this. Um, fail this one of the test, which is a successful post request, right? So I'm going to give some um, random value here so that this test fails and we get a notification. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's go back to our collection now to monitor your collection or to create a monitor for your collection. Uh, well, there are several ways of doing that. Uh, you can click on these three dots or view more actions for your collection. And there you will find monitor collection, right? So once you open this page, it will ask you for a monitor name. So get hub monitor, right? And then um, we will kind of uh, choose the environment here. So which is the GitHub. Now the monitor run frequency, right? So there are three types. One is the week timer, one is the minute timer, and one is the hour timer, right? So minute timer is like, um, you can select every five minutes, every 10 minutes. Uh, hour timer is every hour or every few hours, right? And week timer is on any specific day or weekday or weekends, right? And specific time. So you can choose any one. Um, for now, um, I will just choose the minute timer, which is every five minutes, right? And if you scroll down, you will also see some advanced options here or preferences. So there are regions you can select from. Um, now you can automatically select a region or you can manually select a region from your from where your mom API request will be monitored, right? So you can select US East, Asia Pacific or Canada Central. Okay, uh, for now I'll leave it for automatically select region. So I will allow Postman to select a, any region um, out of the choices. Now coming to additional preferences, right? Um, there are a few. The most important one I think is the receive email notifications for run failures and errors, right? So we need that. So let's type a email address here so <clears throat> so this is my email address and i can add um, more for notification notification recipients here right um i can choose um how many notifications i want to receive so it can be two, one, or more than that, right? Um, if you want to retry your uh, test, if run fails, you can do that. You can um, give it a timeout for every request. You can give a delay for every request, um, and you can kind of disable the redirects and SSL validation for your API requests, right? So these are the different options available in your configuration, monitor configuration, and then go ahead and create the monitor, right? So once you do that, it will give you a link where you can uh, go to the web dashboard or your monitor is running, right? So where your monitor is running. Or there are another way of doing that. 
So when you go to your postman um, on the bottom, you will see there is a build tab which is selected, right? So this is where we build our APIs. And then there's a browse section. If you click on this browse tab, right? Um, it will take you to a different page where you will find all your monitors. You can also have other pages here like um, environments, history, collections. So all are listed down here. And here you will find your monitor, right? Um, now you can also edit your monitor here, right? So the options you chose, uh, you can edit it here also. So once I click on edit, um, it is taking me to the actual URL, right? Where um, my collection is, my monitor is there, right? So these are the same options we selected. Um, you can probably change anything you want to change, right? So, and save the changes. Okay. Um, apart from that, you can refresh your monitor. Um, you can pause, edit, and delete your monitor, right? Now, since we have chosen a run every five minutes, right? Every hour, every day. So this will be running, this monitor will be running every five minutes in an hour, right? And every day. But if you don't want to wait for your um, monitor to run, you can also run it from here. Right, so just click on the run option and it will directly go and start running your collection here, right? right. So it will be monitoring your collection um, every five minutes and we have started it manual run of your monitor. You can refresh this particular uh, log section, right? So once it's completed, it will display your test results and the console log, right? So it will give all the information here, what failed, what passed. So as you can see, um, I knowingly failed one of the requests, right? So it is telling me uh, 404 not found. Okay, so yeah, I think the URL is not correct for this post request. So let's go back to our build section and let me correct this. I might have changed it. So this will be actually repos instead of repo, right? So let's test this out. Okay, sorry, uh, so I did not select the environment here. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's working now. Uh, the only thing failing is uh, the test, right? So that's expected um, failures just to get a notification on our email. Anyways, uh, since we had a failure uh, the last time, we all we should have a notification in our emails, email address which we give, given, right? So let's save this, okay? And then you can rerun this particular monitor here, okay? And refresh this. Okay, so now all the requests are passing and we have two failures as expected, right? So we should be getting a notification in our email that uh, the two tests have failed, right? So we had two runs of this monitor. So as I was, both the times there were some failures, we should have got um, the notifications, right? Um, there are some filters available here. So you can filter by repositories, uh, right? Or your um, actually request type. So these are the different requests we have inside the collection. So you can filter by that particular request. You can also filter by this type, uh, run result, and the region, if you have selected any other regions, right? Um, so, and this is the monitor summary. So it will tell you um, what is failing, how much response time it is taking, right? For the monitor to run, right? So let me open my email and check the notifications now. Okay. Okay. So I've opened up my email, uh, which 
I provided in that uh, monitor note and you can see there is a email new email from postman monitors which will probably tell you that some of your API requests are failing right so it is telling monitoring repeated errors and there were two errors in this github monitor okay you can view the details uh, it will probably ask you to log in into your account and then it will take you to the same page okay so uh, monitors actually help you um, fix issues pretty quickly because you get a notification every time your any of your api request fail right so you don't have to wait uh, and go manually check every time whether your api requests or tests are um, continuously running or not so with the help of notifications with the help of monitors you can continuously monitor your api requests and tests which are running across your applications right so it's pretty helpful uh, to create monitors um, now one thing to note here is um, you cannot create a lot of monitors uh, in in the free uh, in the free version of postman uh, but if you have a paid version then um, you can create unlimited number of collections right uh, or monitors for your collections so that's one thing to remember and i think i covered everything on the monitor section so if you find this in, uh, video interesting then please like and share along um, if you have any questions please leave a comment and i will get back to you with um, any particular answers on your questions you can also subscribe to our channel qa script like uh, the link is given below and See you in the next video.